but where do we get the power from? Now let's connect an Ethernet cable to the power port, which is port 6. Hi tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today we're tackling a real world project, powering 24 security cameras and 8 Wi-Fi SS points across an 8-story building centrally from one IT room. No local power outlets needed, so let's dive in. So here's our problem breakdown. Our client owns an 8-floor building and he wants to install three security cameras and an access point per floor at each floor. And he requires to power everything from the first floor IT room. So our challenge is how to deliver both power and data to each floor from the first floor. So we are thinking power over ethernet. It is our hero. It sends power and data over one cable. But how? So our answer? is the PoE power switch. Instead of multiple cables run to each floor, we only have to place a PoE power switch on each floor. And since the building is less than 100 meters, so PoE is perfect in this case. Now let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you what the setup will look like. So now we're looking at three security cameras and the PoE power switch that we talked about. Now let's plug the cameras into the switch. We have one, two, and three. But where do we get the power from? Now let's connect an ethernet cable to the power port, which is port six. This is actually coming from the main switch in the IT room. Using this long cable, you can see it's sending both power and data. Magic, right? Now this cable is from our PoE power switch at our first floor's IT room. This is the cable connected to the PoE power switch, and this is connected to the network video recorder. And this managed switch has 24 ports and also 4 SFP slots. Now let's take a look at our monitor, because the video feed will come up soon. And now I'm going to wave my hand so you can see this is a live video feed. And one question here, can we use any switch in the IT room to achieve this setup? Not really, because we need to consider the power budget. Well, let's stimulate one floor here. We have three security cameras, let's say 10 watts each, and our PoE power switch also needs power and their power loss. So we need to budget extra for the power loss and the gears. Let's say one floor needs about 40 watts. So the critical question is, can your main switch handle eight floors? So now let's do the math. 40 watts times eight floors, that's 320 watts in total. A standard PoE Plus switch would fail because it usually provides 250 watts max. That's why we used a PoE++ switch. It has 720 watts power budget, and each port offers up to 90 watts. So it's enough for each PoE power switch 65 watts max draw. So it's more than enough. And the pro tips is, you can even upgrade some of the cameras to PDZ cameras. Because with PoE++, you are covered. So now, you're looking at the main switch here, providing both power and data to each force PoE power switch. Then the switch here shares the power and data to all the connected gears. Oh wait, we forgot something. Our clients want Wi-Fi on each floor. So now let's add our access point. Let's say the access point is 15 watts each. And our PoE power switch has 65 watts maximum draw, so it's still enough power. So now you're looking at a completed setup. But mixing cameras and public Wi-Fi, that seems like a big risk. 
so we need VLANs to segment traffic. Now VLAN is virtual lens. Think of it as invisible walls inside your network so you can keep your network safe. And here's how to set it up. First, we need to connect a computer to our PoE power switch. Then let's go on to network preferences. We have to make sure our computer and the PoE power switch are under the same subnet, which already did. Now let's open up our Chrome and type in the PoE power switch IP address. Now we are in. Go on to VLAN setting. And under VLAN member, we can create the VLAN. Now let's create a VLAN 10 for our Wi-Fi access point and create another VLAN, let's say 20, for our cameras so to keep them safe. Then go to VLAN setting. Now we need to select the port. Our Wi-Fi access point is under port number one. So select port number one and select VLAN 10. Now hit save. Now underneath here, it instantly changed the SS VLAN. Then we have port two, three, and four. Under VLAN 20, hit save. Now you can see they already changed. Now the cameras cannot talk to the Wi-Fi users. So privacy intact. And remember, not only you have to set VLAN on the PoE power switch on each floor, you also need to set it on the main switch. Now coming to the end of this video, some might wonder, why does our client want to centralize power? Can we just use the power outlets on each floor? That's way more easier. Here's why. One uninterruptible power supply in the IT room backs up everything. Power outages, your cameras and Wi-Fi stays on and no hunting for eight separate UPS units. So efficiency win. You can manage all the power from one place and reset your devices remotely. Save time and cash. Plus, you still need to run an Ethernet cable to each floor for data anyway. So why not all in one? So down to our final recap. Use PoE++ for high power budgets. Use PoE power switch on each floor to sense power and data to all the devices. And isolate your devices with VLAN and centralized UPS backup. So that's it. With power over Ethernet, you simplify complex setup. Now, if you like this video, please smash subscribe and feel free to leave comments. We'll tackle them all. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you in our next one.